Hey guys, what's up? So really quick, I know that the quality of this video is, it's not that bright right now, not that great, but this is a Trader Joe's haul and I gotta put all of this, oh, there's a lot of frozen stuff. So um, yeah, I'm not gonna take the time to like perfect the setup. So I hope that you still will watch and that you still love me. So anyway, um, I'm here on my kitchen floor. No, this is not a Trisha Paytas breakdown video, although, might come in the future I'm not sure if I don't get to eat lunch soon but um so this is a Trader Joe's haul so I went in to get just a few things for lunch and I kind of wound up doing like almost a whole shopping trip but they had so many lovely fall things and just good things and I was also hungry so I ended up buying a lot so I've done a few of these before and you can click in the info box below if you just love watching Trader Joe's haul last year I did a collab with very beautiful we did like a fall one um, so this is also a fall one. I didn't like particularly go and buy like all of their fall stuff, um, but there are some things. And also I wanna say this year, I'm a lot better at shopping at Trader Joe's because I've done it more. And especially with fall, I don't just like grab every single thing that I see because I've tried it. So um, some of these things I've already tried and I can let you know that they are actually good because Trader Joe's is awesome and their prices are great, but um, some of the things are hit or miss. Sometimes I'm like, what the heck? What were they thinking with this? So, okay, let's get started. First, I will show you the few fall-ish items that I got. Okay, first up. These were $1.99, ghosts and bats, crispy potato snacks. Haven't had them, but they're just these little chippies. When I open them, I will put a little picture on my Insta story probably because they're so cute and then you can see what they look like. Hey, Luca, what are you doing? <laughs> Come here, you wanna say hi? Say hi. She's like, um, are those chips for me? Okay, go on, girl. Let me grab my receipt so I can tell you guys how much everything was. Next up, pumpkin bagels. I think these were $1.99 too. $2.49, okay. And they also have pumpkin cream cheese, which I didn't get but these are made with pumpkin flour and pumpkin pie spice bits, so I feel like they should be pretty pumpkin-y. Um, I'm very picky about my pumpkin. Sorry guys, trying to get this a little brighter. I'm very picky about my pumpkin flavors, so I will definitely let you know on this one. This is fallish, kind of. Organic maple agave syrup. This is a lot less expensive than like a full-on maple syrup, and um, yeah, it's really good on like waffles and stuff. They also have pumpkin waffles there, which are $2, but I can get them. Hi, puppy. Hi. Spooky. I had to get this little guy. You like it? <laughs> I had to get this little pumpkin when I saw its little crook. I was debating between an orange one and a white one, and then I saw that and I was like, that is just too cute, so. I'm going to add that to my table with my fall decor. Decor, whatever. And I think last in the fall haul section, but not least, I've actually been wanting this probably about a year. I remember seeing it with my friend Chris when we were going shopping for a photo shoot. So this is the Moon X, I guess it's called. 2016 Black Pinot Noir, California. And I think that it used to be around $10, but I think they're having a sale on it. Or maybe I'm just misremembering and it always was this price, but um, this was $7.99. And um, Gary V, for those of you guys that are into Gary V, um, he suggests going up to about the $10 mark with wine and he says that makes like a huge difference between the six and $7 to the $10 mark. And a lot of times you can find like $10 ones that are discounted down to six and seven. And I found that he is very right. It makes a big difference in the flavor and just how it makes you feel. And um, another good one, are you okay Luca? This is her butt right here. She's like backing up, I think she sees a fly. Why is my hair going crazy? Um, another good one that's in that range is the 99 Crimes. How many crimes is it? I think it's 99 Crimes from Australia. 
they have really good wine. So I'm really excited to drink this and also just to keep this bottle because I've just been wanting this for my decorations in life um, since I saw it. So yeah, it's gonna be awesome. So actually all of that fall stuff is new to me. Last time I got the fall zucchetti pasta. I recommend skipping that. It's really cute. It looks like little pumpkins or little squashes, but it just doesn't really cook right. It's a little too soft. Both, both Elizabeth and I got it and when we cooked it, maybe there's a trick to it, but it kind of like falls apart into mush. So I would skip that. Okay, so let's do the frozen stuff. This is something I love. I've bought it multiple times. Mushroom and black truffle flatbread with mozzarella cheese. Of course it's not like, oh, I can smell it. I better get it in the freezer. Um, it's not like a ton of truffles, but it is enough to give you that truffle flavor. This is for, for 49. And um, it's not really filling enough for two people by itself, but um, like for James and I, I'll, we'll have this and then like a, sa a salad on the side and maybe like one other little snack and then that's enough for like a light dinner. Or I can just eat this whole thing to myself. And I usually give Lucas some too. Okay, while we're on the truffle train, this is probably the most like <laughs> indulgent thing that I got. Truffle mousse pate, which is made with chicken, um, chicken livers, brandy, mushrooms, sherry wine. And yeah, um, I don't know. I had pate at this restaurant I worked at once and I thought it was really good. And I just wanted a little rich treat. So this was the most expensive thing. It was $5.49, but this is really rich. You eat this on cracker. crackers, so that's gonna last. And I'm making a huge mess and pile of groceries all around myself. My phone is literally taped to a chair, guys. Still haven't ordered my phone tripod, which I really need to do. These black bean and corn enchiladas, I think I got two. These are just great to have in the freezer. Um, they have sauce on them. Some of their enchiladas and burritos and stuff don't come with sauce, so I like this because um, it has it and you can just Again, make this with like a salad if you have a busy night <clears throat> and you're good to go. Okay, next up, something new. I haven't tried it before. These are the vegan vegetable masala burgers and they're made with potatoes, carrots, green beans, bell peppers. Um, they're like Indian style, so I thought that would be Good, hopefully, I'll let you know, because I know finding good veggie burgers is hard. And I like these ones because they're made with all vegetables instead of like soybeans. I mean, I know soybeans are vegetables, but just something different. Mas enchiladas, the, these are $2 for one, $1.99 technically. I got some garlic naan. This is the Trader Joe's brand, obviously. I've never tried this one before, but I've tried other brands from my friend Trishel's Freezer, who gets them from the Indian store and they're really good. So I'm hoping that these are good because they're so nice to have on hand. These are one. And yeah, it comes with four, it has garlic on it and you can like just put butter on it and oh, it's awesome. If you've never had naan, just spend $1.99 smother this thing in butter and you will be happy. So I got that to go with. Well, actually I saw this first and I was like, oh, I should get something to go with it. So I got this uh, butter chicken and basmati rice dinner to go with that. Butter chicken is a really simple name, but in an Indian recipe, it means much more complex. This really like delicious reddish brown sauce. And I love it. So these things are always good just to have in the freezer. Like when you're really busy and you either have to leave to go to work or you're getting home from work and you're just really tired. Or since I work a lot at home on my computer, I might just have come home and then still have more to do. So I just want something simple and healthy at the same time. 
Okay, how much was the buttered chicken? Butter, 369. Two potato fries, I get these a lot. They're so good to have in the freezer. And they are 199 also. Oh, one more truffle thing. Mushroom truffle ravioli. I've gotten these before and these are really good. Um, I asked James what, if he wanted anything from Trader Joe's and this was the only thing that he said that he wanted. So I got these. And the trick is you have to space out the mushroom truffle pizza with this because these are like almost the same food so you can't have them like back to back. Well, I can, but. And then these hash browns, they're just your average hash browns, but they're $1.99 and they're just so helpful to have in the freezer. I love to cook this and it only takes like four, I just set a timer, it takes four minutes on one side, flip it over in four minutes and then do like a slightly runny egg and put that on top with a little bit of ketchup and sriracha and just have that as a little open faced hash brown sandwich and it's delicious. Okay, I'm gonna go put all this in the freezer before it melts. BRB. Okay, so the other reason why I am rushing is because I am helping my neighbor foster kittens and they're going on four weeks old and they have to be fed almost every three hours. So um, I actually have to go give them their lunch they're so cute and I keep spamming you guys on my Insta stories. And yeah, they're just amazing. I mean, what's better? <laughs> like I had two of them on me yesterday after they'd eaten and they were just purring and I was just like, sorry, I keep messing with this. I was just like, this is literally the best, the best day ever. Okay, so let's finish so I can go feed them. This is something cool. It was only $1.29, ready to bake garlic and herb pizza dough. It says great for breadsticks, rolls, and calzones too. And I just loved how much garlic and herbs it looks like there is. Um, and then I got some pizza sauce to go with it, which was $1.99. So I was like, well, this is $1.29. So like, as long as I just, Cook it, it's probably gonna be good. I don't know, you know, like it just seems like you can't really go wrong with that. So yes, I got a lot of carbs. <laughs> Can you tell I was hungry? Okay. And this is just their regular pizza sauce, I guess. I got these, I usually get all my vegetables at Detweiler's, which is a Amish farmer's market that we have. Um, but these were less expensive, so I got them. They were $2.29 for 10 ounces of Baby Bella's, so that's a really good price. I got this just to try cultured coconut milk vanilla yogurt. I'm trying to get away from dairy, and I love dairy, and I love yogurt, and yogurt makes me feel healthy and it's something I love to have in the morning, so it's kind of hard to get away from that. How much are you, how much are you? 149. Black beans, organic, 99 cents. Cheapest organic black beans you're gonna find, or regular black beans, so I got those because they're really good to have on hand. They're a great non-meat protein. This, Vanilla almond milk, which is $2.69. This is the best price for almond milk or coconut milk that we have in town. So I grabbed one of those. And I've had this before and I like it. I like that it's vanilla but unsweetened because sometimes they make vanilla ones and they're like so full of sugar. I got these at the last second at the register. Ginger mints. I like to have ginger on hand because a lot of times my stomach hurts after I eat. And let's open these suckers. These kind of go with the fall theme too. 
Um, ginger is really relaxing to your stomach and really healthy. And I didn't have any mints or gum at the moment, so I thought, okay, they look like little Altoids. They're not for puppies. They're not, no. <laughs> I'm sorry, they're too spicy. I'm just chewing it so I can tell you guys what it tastes like. Hmm. Okay. Oh, now there's a little burn. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. I like it. And the organic. Nice. Okay. Last thing in here is this little, I've never gotten any Trader Joe's body products, I don't think. But this was only $3.99 and it's lemongrass coconut body oil with almond and jojoba oils or as they say on Kath and Kim, jojoba oils and gentle light and aromatic moisturizes skin without being greasy, no animal testing. I like to put on my moisturizer when I'm in the shower because I'm very lazy and I don't like putting on lotion and then waiting for it to soak in because it just feels like it like never soaks in. So I really like those like in shower moisturizers and stuff. And I also like the in shower tanner by Jerkins. In case you're wondering, that gel stuff is awesome. Um, so I just got this because I've been kind of neglecting my moisturization lately. And yeah, these are awesome crackers to have on hand. I love that they come in just this one box because a lot of times if I have a box of crackers at my house, it just gets forgotten and then they just go bad. So this is nice because it's like, you can actually eat this in like one to two sittings and it'll stay fresh. So these little babies, oh, my stomach is brown. 139 and they're multigrain and flaxseed. So always BFF, gonna have some of that. Olive tapenade, don't sleep on this. Olive lovers, get in there, it's $1.99. I would have bought more if I didn't want to save my money and just keep them in the drawer, but these two, glass of wine. Sometimes you like don't even need dinner. <laughs> Me and my friend will just like eat this whole thing. Butter croissants, I almost always pick up a pack of these because they're so big, they're so good, they're so fresh, and they are so cheap compared to everywhere else. Three pack, two ninety nine. So it's basically a dollar per croissant. And even if you open this and you just, I seal this down with what in the film world is known as a C forty seven, aka a clothespin. I just clip it down after I open it, and they'll usually stay fresh for like the whole weekend. But gonna go hard in the Nutella on these. And I also like to make sandwiches with them. This is their organic sprouted seven grain bread and they have the best price on that which is 349 i mean for any loaf of bread that's a good price but for organic sprouted bread that would be like five six or seven dollars people let me know in the comments if you know why this is all the other sprouted organic breads that i see are usually sold in the uh not refrigerated the freezer section and for some reason, theirs is not. So um, I think they do that because it doesn't, they keep it in the fridge freezer because it doesn't last that long because it is such a fresh bread. So um, I've had this before, I really like it. It's soft, it's one of the softer sprouted breads and um, it lasts like at least a week. So what's up with that? There's no preservatives or anything. Oh my gosh, I did not know they had this there. Well, I didn't know how cheap it was. Organic coconut milk, they had for $169? Are you kidding me? That's like $3. And it's also hard to find organic at other stores. So I got two of those because I love to have those on hand. I might, I'm, I might, I might. I've been watching Kath and Kim working on my accent. I know it's horrible. Mixing a little bit of Cockney with a little bit of Australian there. All right. 
Anyway, I make Tom Ka soup and this is an important ingredient. Last, but certainly, certainly not least, I've been going through about a bag of this every two weeks because quinoa is awesome. I'm sort of using that instead of rice. It's more filling, It you stay full longer, and it's just a lot more nutritious. So this is the organic tricolor quinoa, which was, I believe, $3.99. And that's it, guys. Whew, we did it. Yay, the kitties can eat now. Awesome, so for everything, my total was $81.28, and that's counting with the wine, which was almost 10. So that is very good, and a lot of that is gonna last for a long time and just like be in the freezer for backup for things. So yeah, definitely one of my more expensive Trader Joe's trips because I was starving and I kind of just went crazy, and it was the first time <laughs> Whenever I go in there the first time in fall, it's bad because I'm just like, it's fall. I love it. And they have so much more stuff. They have pumpkins. I always want to buy roses, but I made myself refrain. I have this rose out front of my house that I got from there and I transferred it into a new pot and I've been like taking care of it like my baby and it is flourishing so much, you guys. There are these little rose pots that they sell for $5 at the front and, um, I've given it fertilizer and it's gone through three sets of blooms and it blooms. There's at least like 10 to 13 blooms on it and it's just gorgeous. So I want to collect like all of them. So that's my next thing on my list. But today was more of a fall situation. If they would have had orange, I would have been in trouble, but they didn't. They had mainly red. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much for watching this. I hope that you are having a Lovely start to your fall. I know here it's still hot as F, but I don't care. I'm just getting into it because it always happens that like I love Halloween so much and then it just comes and it's over. I'm trying to keep myself from saying that's what she said and just to make this an appropriate video, but I can't. That's what she said. So anyway, Halloween's always just over so quick. So I'm sort of like starting earlier and earlier every year. I started watching Hocus Pocus like in July or August. So yeah, I'm excited. And oh, by the way, two of the kitties are black and two are tabby. And you know, that's very Halloween-ish and I'm so excited and I'm gonna film them. I'm gonna put little orange ribbons on them and I think I might do a little photo shoot with them. I'm so excited. I just wanna take so many pictures of them and I can't wait till Luca, they have to get a little bit bigger, but then Luca can meet them and she loves playing with babies. So I think that'll be really fun. So anyway, I love you guys. I just want to stay here and just talk to you because I love you. Sorry if my AC is really loud. I just got a new air conditioner because it was broken and I was dying for two days. Thankfully I'm alive now. Um, and it's very loud. It's like so proud of itself. It's like the little engine that could or something. So anyway, Love you guys. Hope you subscribe. Bye.